Greetings, Internet! I am Ken from the Computer Clan, and today on Tidbytes, we're gonna look at some great tips to really speed up your editing in Adobe Premiere. So let's start with a very handy, simple tip. As you are scrubbing through your footage, you may have parts of the footage at the beginning that aren't very nice, and parts at the end that aren't very nice either. So here we have a rack focus going on, and I want the clip to begin as the rack focus is actually happening without any downtime. A quick way to adjust that is just position your current time indicator and press Q. Q will trim the clip up to where the current time indicator is located. And W will do that for the other side of the clip as well. So when the rack focus is over, I can press W to trim the end of the clip. So Q and W make trimming clips a breeze. Linking clips is also very handy. Let's say I have a title right here. Right now, I want it to stay in sync with this clip, but if I move this clip, you'll see the clip moves, but the audio and the title don't move with it. So you can marquee select all the items and press Command L. Everything is now linked together. So when you click on this particular item or any other item in the link, everything gets highlighted and moves at once. And additionally, if you just need to select one item within that linked selection, you can hold down the Option key and click on it. Now only one item at a time will get selected, but everything is still linked together. The next tip is Shift D. This is the default keyboard shortcut that will apply your default transition. My default transition is a cross dissolve, so if I press Shift D while having the clip selected, a cross dissolve goes on each end of the clip. I can select just the head of the clip and do Shift D. I can select just the tail of the clip and do Shift D, or again, select the whole clip and the head and the tail are now cross dissolved. So now I can have a nice dissolve with my rack focus going on here. I can have it dissolve in and dissolve away, and it looks pretty. Now let's say I want to rearrange some clips. A lot of people will take a clip and move it down, and then they'll realize, oh no, I just punched a huge hole in this clip, and I, I lost that, and I gotta drag this over and drag it down, and oh man, it's a mess. Don't worry about that. Just select your item that you want to move and hold down the command key. As you move those clips, you can see there's a new line on the left side with some arrows pointing to which direction the timeline is going to be adjusted. So then when I drag the stuff down, boom, the clip just swaps and everything else isn't affected. Let's say I do not like this awesome rotating shot of this product and I can just delete it like this. And now there's a gap, so I gotta do the ripple delete thing, right? Well, save a couple clicks. Hold down the Option key when you press Delete on your keyboard. This will not just remove the clip like that, it will actually perform a ripple delete. So Option, Delete, boom, everything slides over and the clip gets removed from the timeline. Let's say I want to move these clips here. And I can be kind of precise with my mouse, but not all the time. So it's like, eh, no, that's a little tedious. What you can do is use Command and the arrow keys and you can nudge your clips frame by frame, and if you hold down Shift, you can nudge them in five frame increments. As you may know, L can be used to play forward in the timeline, and J can be used to play backwards. But a neat little trick is if you hold down K, and then hold down J or L, you can go forward or backwards in slow motion. The G key on the keyboard is the quick way to adjust gain for any clip with audio in it. Select the clip with the audio, and press G. You can then set the gain, adjust the gain, normalize the max peak and all of that right from here. Simple and easy. Another handy shortcut to adjust volume levels without touching the gain is by simply using the brackets on your keyboard. You can press the right bracket to adjust the volume up and the left bracket to adjust the volume down. With this, you don't have to drag the line all of the time with your mouse, you can just use the keys for some quicker and sometimes more precise control over your volume levels. And after you are done working in the timeline, zooming in and out constantly over and over, a quick way just to see a bird's eye view of your whole timeline is double click the scroll bar and boom, you can see your whole timeline sequence right there in front of you. So I hope you learned something new from one of these great tips. Hopefully you can now edit faster inside of Adobe Premiere and keep making some movie magic. And if you did learn something new, or you just enjoyed the demo, smash that like button and let us know! Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the not-too-distant future. Would you like to check out our movie riffing comedy series? If so, you can watch that right here!
Or perhaps you'd like to watch our Anime Milwaukee cosplay music video? If so, then click here!